Hey, what's up guys? Double Doll Gamer here, and we're back with some DCS A10, and I'm going to be going over the startup procedures on how to start this big fat bitch. And as far as I know, this is actually the correct way to start an A10C in real life. Uh, I haven't really been heard different. All I've heard is about, you know, this is pretty much the same way that you do it in real life. Correct me if I'm wrong. But there are quite a few different ways to do this. There isn't really a right way or a wrong way. As long as all the systems are on and everything's good to go, then you did it right. There are a few switches you have to hit before certain switches, but most of the other stuff you can kind of do in whatever order you want. This isn't really the fastest way or the easiest way, but this is the way that I learned and that I've learned to do it and that I'm comfortable doing and making sure every system is up and running at the same time. There are a few switches that are on my throttle on my actual real life throttle that I will hit myself on this because it's just how I do it and it's kind of cool to fucking do but I will show you where they are in the cockpit before I actually do it so let's get this started my track hour is kind of a little twitchy when it comes to actually like zooming in so just bear with it first thing we're gonna do we're gonna go over here hit battery power on and it's inverter standby there we go now this pretty much becomes a game of getting all these lights right here to turn off. Once all those lights turn off, you're good to go. So now that the battery power is on, we're going to start our APU, which is this button right here, APU start. That's on my throttle, so I'm going to actually hit that now, and the APU is starting up. Now you want to watch this gauge, and when it gets to 100%, you're going to start your APU generator, and then you can start your engines. So we're going to let that get up to 100%. But while that's charging up, we're going to turn on all our radios. So we hit this one to TR, this one goes to main, this one goes to TR, and the radios are on. And the APU is almost there. While we're doing that, we'll flip our oxygen on. Oxygen on here. Hold this button to test it. You'll hear an alarm here in a second. And we turn off the alarm. Okay, APU's up to 100%. Before I start the engines and everything, I like to engage the ejection seat in case I need to eject, which is right here. Flip that switch. Good to go. Okay. So now, after we have that, we're going to turn the APU power generator on. So we flip these two switches here, and APU gen power. Now, once that's started, we're going to come over here and flip our fuel boost pumps. So these four switches here. Oh, if I can click them. All right, once those four switches are hit, you're gonna start your engines. Now my control, I can turn from off to idle. If you don't have a joystick that you can do that with, you're gonna hit alt, right alt home to start your left engine, or right control home to start your right engine. So I'm gonna switch my stuff from off to idle. And the engines will auto start themselves. You'll see the fans kick on and the fuel pumps, or the fuel flow will settle at 5. So the right engine's spooling up, now it's getting a little loud, so we're going to close the canopy. Hold that button, close the canopy. Alright, now it's not as loud anymore. Now, while that's all happening, we're going to flip come over here to the SAS. I know. I know. Come over to the SAS, flip these four switches. One, two, three, four. Trim to take off. Now the left engine should be starting now. So we're going to come over here and turn our lights on too. I'm going to hit left control P and come over here and flip these switches. Position flash, anti-collision on. Now, I think I'm forgetting something. Now, as you can see, there's a few lights still on here. APU, Gen, Nav, CCU, I see, Anti-Skid. I forget this a lot. Anti-Skid's right here. You turn that on, that keeps you from freaking out and scraping all over the place. Now, both engines are good, so I'm going to turn my APU start off, my APU power gen, and my battery off. Now, at this point, I'm going to start all my systems. So let's come over here. CC, CDU, and the Eggy. We're going to turn that on. We're going to come over here and turn on the C, C, I, C, U, this button, and this one. Then we're going to turn our displays on today. I have those on night. Turn them on today. And while that's booting up, we're going to come over here and turn on our countermeasures to semi. 
flip all these switches on and countermeasures are good to go just gotta program them and after that you're good to go now, I also want to check my fuel level while I'm at it feels good all right waiting for all these to turn on I'm going to test my control surfaces real quick. Okay. I'm going to check down, up, rudders. Rudders are good. Alright, so now the DTS is all good. We're going to hit load all. Wait for that to load up. Now the longest thing is the nav for the line and the EAC. Um, we're also going to hit our radar altimeter, which is right there, oh, right under the throttle right there, but I'm going to hit that on my switch. So there it goes. Radar altimeter is on, and we're going to get our artificial horizon uncaged, so that's good to go. Now, DTS is all good to go, so we're going to switch to CDU, which is now initializing, and that takes the longest amount of time. But while I'm doing that, I'm going to turn my warm my TGP up, lasers, master arm, gun pack, now I'm going to go to my Dismas, click Missile, EO on. Now that's warming up my Mavericks. It's got a count up timer. Once it gets to three minutes, my Mavericks are warmed up and ready to go. Now, while that's still going and getting aligned and everything, I'm going to go to my TED and set my group ID and everything. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so I'm going to come down here and hit 0... Fuck you. Did I really just do that? Oh shit. Alright, let me hit back. There we go. Okay, and that's still going. Now, the group ID is something different for everybody. Zero three. Click net. And my group is now zero three. My personal ID is one five. I really hate track IR sometimes. Alright, so everybody's group ID is different. This is my group and own ID for my group that I play with. Now, once the nav's getting going, we're gonna start it. First thing I'm gonna do, because I forget it a lot, is turn on my nose wheel steering, which is controlled on my joystick. I don't know the actual keyboard control for it. Uh, but once my nav is aligned, right up here and where it says INS nav ready will start flashing I'll click nav the navigation system will be aligned and we're ready to take off so that should leave two little notes two items ready to go once the nav's good we'll be able to click on our eggy and do our EAC and that's good to go so right now it's just kind of a waiting game kind of sit around and wait wait for the line there is a faster way to do your nav I just prefer this way to make sure it's done the right way you can do it in flight you can do it by going forward, hitting break. I just prefer to do it this way because it's easier and it's no errors and there's no problems going on. Because I've had it misalign in flight and I've also had it not work when I move forward and break. So this is the way I like to do it just to make sure it's done the first time properly. I don't mind sitting here on the ground for an extra two or three minutes, whatever. No big deal. So that's still loading up. So at this point, most of our systems are good to go. Um, kind of trying to... You know, oh, just if you have any time or you're kind of waiting, take a look around and make sure everything's good to go and you're not missing anything. I shouldn't be missing anything. And just actually, let me take this time to test my flaps. Flaps maneuver, good. Flaps down, good. Bring them back up. All right, HUD, everything looks good up there. Nav is ready as it's flashing up there so we're gonna hit the nav button that's good now we're gonna come up here in front of the joystick and hit the eggy now at that point we can turn our EAC on which is located next to the radar altimeter down here and we're good to go we are ready to taxi and we are ready for takeoff so disengage the brake throttle up and my rudder pedals are really 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 sensitive so we're gonna have a hard time Getting this moving. And there's a lot of combat going on out there. Oh, 
I could probably go over there and take off, but I'm gonna go to the end of the runway anyways because it's right up here. Colts two, in from the south, engaging bandit at Colts two zero five for twenty two. Start breaking a little bit. Colts two, so I don't flip this beast on a turn. Now, as I get in the air, my Maverick should be good to go. My TGP should be warmed up enough, and we can ready to go to engage targets. Uh, there's no waiting whatsoever. That's why I like to touch that stuff on the ground. I don't see anybody coming. We're gonna get onto the runway. And my rudder pedals are extremely sensitive, so taking off might be a pain in the ass right now. Flip my flaps. Oops, kidding. Flaps to maneuver. All right, they're down, and we're gonna full throttle it, and release the brake. All right, now it's increasing speed, and once we get to about 60 knots, we'll turn off our nose wheel steering, and I really need to adjust these rudder pedals insanely much, because they are super sensitive right now. I'm just resting my feet on them and I'm moving all over the place. I like to wait and lift until about 160 knots, so I'm going to start lifting now. And off the ground we go. And gear up. Alright, so gear is up. Flaps stay down until we reach speed. And yeah, we can go ahead and start making our turn. So that's pretty much the startup sequence and takeoff of the A10C, which isn't too hard. It's a lot to uh, kind of get get in there and learn, but once you learn it, it's super easy. It's pretty much you got to repeat um, startup, takeoff, land, and you know go through and shut everything down and start it again. So we're gonna circle around and actually land this beast. Make sure my flaps are up. I'll probably crash it because I'm not really that great at landings, but whatever. Of course, let's fire the gun real quick while we have the chance. Because everybody likes the gun. There it goes. Yes. Sexiness. Was that a boat over there? Well, something's on fire over there. But we're not going to fuck around with that right now. Where's the runway? Where's the runway? There's the runway. All right, so we're going to circle around and come in for a landing on this beast. I'm still going a little fast, so I'm going to cut throttle just a bit. Just a tad. And of course, my rudder pedals are already causing me problems. Awesome. All right, so let's start cutting it around now. I want to drop my flaps. And my flaps actually aren't down for some reason. I think I might be going too fast to do flaps. That's not good. I'm gonna drop my gear. Colt one, in from the northeast, engaging armor at bullseye two zero two for twenty four. Okay, my flaps aren't down. This isn't good. Uh, is there emergency flaps? So we are on final, pretty much. Yeah, my flaps aren't doing anything. This ain't good. That's flaps. Hmm. Well, we're doing this without flaps, I guess. I really don't know why they didn't go down. Oh, there they go. Okay. I guess I was going too fast. Altitude, altitude. Yes, I know. Shut your mouth. Is my gear out at least? Yeah, it is. Okay. And there go my rudder pedals again. Alright, and we're 
come on on in. Coming in a little hard and a little fast. And that's a little fast and hard. Oh. That was a pretty hard landing. But it could have been so much worse. My tires are good. Yep. Didn't pop any tires. Not too bad, though. I mean, at least I'm on the ground in one piece, right? That's pretty much it. A10C. Not too difficult. Looks like a lot, but isn't really. So we'll get off the runway, and then we're going to call it a day. Track the flaps. And look for a taxiway, which looks like it might be right up here somewhere. Oh, I missed it. Damn it. Fuck. Oh, well, there's one at the end of the runway, anyways. Turn on our nose wheel steering. Oh. And that's pretty much the A10. Not much to it, really. A lot of systems, a lot of stuff you gotta learn, but once you learn it, it's no problem whatsoever. So, we'll get off onto this taxiway here. And we'll spool her down. Yeah, I know. Wheel brakes engaged. Colt 1, you're from the north. Engaging bandit at bullseye 204. And spool the engines down. I just like to fucking cut them, because it's fun. <laughs> Alright guys, this is the A10C. Really nothing to it. A lot of fun though. Really fun game. If you have a joystick and a throttle, definitely check this out. It is a ton of fun. One of the best gaming experiences I've ever had. Alright guys, talk to you later. Peace. Where are you from? Yep. Um, Germany. Ha ha ha!